Once again, two people who do their own stunts badly, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. <laughs> That was about as good as peace talks in the Middle East. Uh, uh, hey, you know, I think it's very clear from that that I am the next Lee Majors, in the sense that one day I'm going to really injure myself and have to require robotic limbs. Well, now that Adam is done grasping at comedy straws, yeah. us X Play Kids have noticed that furry video game mascots haven't been very popular lately. Yes, no one apparently has really felt the fuzzy backlash more than Sony. You saw lackluster sales of Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, and Sly Cooper. Yes, so now Sony is retooling these once come the characters to make them edgy. Jack got a goatee because nothing says danger like facial hair, and Ratchet and Clank, well, they've gone commando. Mm. Having saved the galaxy from the evil Chairman Dreck in the first Ratchet and Clank, the duo had some press and celebrity status to deal with. Well, as you can imagine, we've been pretty busy. After Dreck's defeat, there were parades, press conferences, fancy dress balls. And the wiener roast at Al's. We're still pretty busy, but in a more, uh, domestic sense. Yesterday, I flushed out my radiator core. I guess no one needs a hero right now. Au contraire, Ratchet and his handy sidekick Clank are back on the PS2 in Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. And don't worry, Ratchet doesn't actually go commando. He keeps his pants on. Clank, however, has been wearing nothing but his robot birthday suit since the original game. This time around, Ratchet and his little buddy become commandos for the giant corporation Megacorp. It seems evil cyber reptilian mercenaries are harassing the galaxy, and it's up to this mismatched duo to save the day by slaughtering them by the thousands. Yay! I love a good slaughtering. Like all good sequels, there are more levels, more enemies, and more weapons. This one is more Godfather 2 and less Speed 2 cruise control. Runaway ocean liner my ass. Going Commando's levels are mini hubs that initially seem similar to the ones in the first game. At some point, however, you're whisked away to one of the game's much ballyhooed spherical worlds. These worlds have huge jumps, launching Ratchet high into the air to see a view of the whole level. This is more a presentation tweak than a gaming revolution, but it's still cool. Look, Mom. No hands! One difference in Going Commando is that now you have to solve puzzles to gain health. Ratchet also has to power up the game's weapons with experience he gets from killing enemies. And Mom always told me killing was bad. We also enjoyed the new types of weapons. In addition to Ratchet's trusty wrench, there's a heavy lancer, a huge bomb, and Chinese star-like discs. Eat your heart out, Shinobi. So far, Ratchet and Clank 2 is shaping up to be a great game, improving upon the first in all of the important ways. All we can hope for now is that by going commando, Ratchet has lost the annoying attitude we were hit over the head with in the last game. Check for it on shelves in November. You know, maybe one of these shows that I'm going to go commando. Please don't. You know, it would, it would make the message boys light up like a, like a Christmas tree. A burning Christmas tree? An itching and burning Christmas tree. Oh.